But sitting on that grassy verge, I think I went insane. And I swear that right there, I had a vision going back in time to the very birth of this M1 in 1959. Clear as day, I saw a workman talking to a tree. And the tree, she spoke right back to him in the voice of an old lady. And the worker ran across to his boss. The foreman swaggered towards her. What have you to say, said he, before I give the order. Now we are the last of a great old wood. We've been here for a thousand years. We've seen the world around us change. But we thought that we'd always be here. But now you men are growing fast. And few of us remain. If you kill us now, I can't explain how. But England will never be the same. <laughs> now the foreman, he laughed a bitter laugh to hear a talking tree mention this to the planning team. And it'll be the end of me. Well, you may be the last of your kind and you may speak the truth. But to let this project fall behind, it's more than my job is worth. So around the tree there came five cranes of yellow painted steel Brought down the tree, the tree was slain And it was chopped up on the fields Now I stood down by the motorway waiting for the RAC The engine died on my four wheel drive somewhere south of Leeds We're just finding, ah, oh, there's a strap and everything. I want to say, and in fact, you guys should all stick around and watch the Constellations who are the next band on, who just lent me this fucking guitar, and that means they're good, <laughs> good human beings. And uh, I don't know how to use strap locks. Oh, maybe I do, hold on. Uh, I should probably tell more stories and be fucking endlessly hilarious while I'm doing this. How much time have we got left? 15 fucking minutes, all right. 15 minutes to the house, and we have to kind of re-sound check this, I'm presuming, because it's an electric going. Oh, you know what? It's turning into a Chuckle Brothers sketch. There's about three people here who know what I mean by that, right? I already played that song! Arsehole? That's not a song that I know. Sounds like a good one, though. Uh, one second. That was, in fact, you know what, could someone pass me my cap over, which is over there somewhere? Thank you very much. I'm going to tune this before we do anything else. I'm really sorry about this, this feels terribly unprofessional. I'll tell you what, here's some good news for you all. Um, I'm playing another show at Bonnaroo. Woo! Uh, that's the good news. Well, okay. Well, here we go. I only found out this morning that Wheat Thins was a type of cracker, right? <laughs> I mean that in a non-racist sense. <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe I just said that into a microphone. <laughs> um, yeah, so Wheat Thins apparently is some type of biscuit. That's what I'm trying to say. Except you guys mean something else by biscuit. Jesus Christ. How's that? On Saturday at about 6 p.m. I'm gonna be somewhere in the campsite. Apparently there's like a wheat thin stage up there or something something like that. Do you anyone know where that is? Yeah. Okay, I'll be playing there again on Saturday. I promise I'll play different songs and not fuck up my guitar and all that kind of beautiful shell. This is the song I was gonna play earlier before I broke the string. This song's called Love Iron Song. Woo! Let me just please. Well, a 
teacher of mine once told me that life was just a list of disappointments and defeats and you could only do your best and I said well that's a fucking copper who just washed up and you're tired and when I get to your age well I won't be such a coward but these days I sit at home I'm numb to shout at my TV and punk rock didn't live up to what I'd hoped that it could be and all the things that I believe with all my heart when I was young are just coasters for beers and clean surfaces for drugs and I'm packed up my pampers with my bottles at the back of the shelf so it was bad enough the feeling of the first time in here when you realize that your parents have let the world will go to shit and that the values and ideals which many had fought and died of being killed off in the committees and that to die by the wayside but it was worse when we turned to those kids on the left I got let down again by some poor excuse for protest there were idiot fucking hippies in 50 different factions who looked inside some kind of 60s battle reenactment so I had my banner in disgust I had for the door Yes, you live and learn. We won't make that mistake again. No. Oh, but surely, just for one day, yeah, we can fight and we can win. And if only for a little while, we could insist on the impossible. While well, we've been few hours drinking so I'm gonna say what everyone's thinking if we're stuck on this ship and it's sinking then we might as well have a parade cause if it's still gonna hurt in the morning and the better plans yet to get forming then where's the Streets. Let's be 1905 and not 1917. Let's be heroes, let's be martyrs, let's be radical thinkers who never have to test drive the least of their dreams. Let's divide up the world into the damned and the saved. Let's ride to the valley like the old night brigade and straighten our backs and we won't be afraid. We'll celebrate our deaths with a national parade. Open heart.